Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET session. Today we are going to explore how to deploy ASP.NET Core 3.0 into the IES. So you can check we have already created one application in 3.0 version and we have default controllers now running this application so we can get everything on the browser working properly value 1 and value 2 from the default endpoints now just going into the IES if it is not installed in your system you can check it into the program and features turn windows on upon features find out internet information service and you can proceed with the default checked items if you want to customize it you can customize it here so I am also proceeding with the existing default values so now in the connection section I am going to create a complete new site and for this inside the sites creating a new site with the brand new names code 3 3 double zero so I am setting the physical path to the C inet path you all are aware of it and inside the ww root I am creating a new folder code 300 here we will be publishing the sp.net code 3 point zero applications by using visual studio this is the path where we will be publishing and now giving a appropriate host name so that we can browse it through the browser so i have given the beta dot core three develop dot com we can check here in the explorer we will have empty directory now the next step would be setting the host entry so if we will click drivers we will get into the drivers etc directory here is the host file so I need administration privilege to edit this file so I am opening the notepad and running it to run as administrator mode opening the same files from the directory and setting it the local IP with the host beta dot core 300 dot com so currently I haven't saved this file I am copying this host and running into the browsers we will get nothing as soon as I will save the file now you can see we can access this host from the browser now but what is happening here now we are getting errors because we do not have anything into the folder so now from the visual studio we are going to publish the application into that special directory which is pointed to a yes site so just choosing the option of folders you can choose anywhere any things which which is suitable for you and uh, choosing the specific folders created in shide inet pub www root core 300 and going to publish it here with the default settings so if everything should would be okay it should be published here so output window we need to verify what is the error we are getting here it's because it fails and no files published here inside the folder so looking into the logs inside the output window we can check publish zero here and what is the error so in web publish activity access is denied okay so for this I'm just 
closing the Visual Studio and running the Visual Studio with the Runner Administrator privileges. And now with the recent project, I can tra will try to publish the application. And this time we should not have any error in the output window. So clicking on the publish and now simply publishing with the saved profile. Now I can see the message publish once exceeded zero failed. Well we looking into the directory we will found the content is there. So just going to verify the content of our that folder code 3.0 the all contents are here now again refreshing the browser and now we are getting 500 internal error so we are proceeding with the right direction now one thing here missing we just need to install sp.net core hosting bundles which you can get through the description link so here you can see we have full instructions to deployment of the sp.net core 3.0 applications in different different server so in the IS section we can find out the download links of the bundle and now you can see this is the all process which we followed the direct download links here is the link we just clicked it the hosting bundles is being downloaded it well now uh, we have successfully downloaded the bundles and installing it and again it will take some time so after installing this uh, the only one thing uh, would be left that is uh, we need to check the application pool of the website and inside the application pool we need to set no managed code option so as soon as the installation should be succeeded we will verify that setting we will also verify the installed bundle is available inside IS handlers or not so for this purpose we will go to inside the modules and uh, inside the modules the bundle should be here okay, so now you can say that ASP.NET Core modules is available after installing so now uh, what we need to do is we will be looking into the application pool setting and for this we will go to uh, the connection application pool then the core 300 and now inside uh, the settings we will by just clicking it we can get settings and now no manage code options been set here so after settings these settings we can verify our content on browser now or uh, we are refreshing it so now we are getting 404 it means that our server is responding in a manner where we do not have content and now we have changed the urls api as values and now the value is coming here so everything is working properly now we have successfully deployed so the basic things which we need to know that we need to create a website first by using visual studio in .NET Core 3.0 version and uh, the second point is deploy into 
or we can say publish into a, a specific folder and the third would be create a web site inside the IS and point to that folder the fourth one would be make sure we have make the host entry so which we can browse it through the browser fifth one we also need to be ensure that we have installed sp.net core hosting bundle which you can find it through the description link hello friends welcome to asptricks.net session today we are going to explore how to deploy asp.net code 3.0 into the IES so you can check we have already created one application in 3.0 version and we have default controllers now running this application so we can get everything on the browser working properly value 1 and value 2 from the default endpoint now just going into the IES if it is not installed in your system you can check it into the program and features turn windows on upon features find out 